G'day and welcome back to the channel. It's Monday and on Friday I plan to head 300 kilometres to Golgong for the 90th anniversary of the Model A Ford. And I've got a ton to do. So I've been pretty busy over the last week. Um, that 1928 radiator that I put in there wasn't working out for me, um, it was overheating and there's nothing I could do about it. So I had to put the old one back in. I've got it in there, it's not the best radiator but it's cooling. I've flushed it out and I can't get out so it works. I had to rebuild the water pump, it was leaking. Um, rebuilt the carburetor, uh, new jets, um, power valve and accelerator pump in that. Jetted it right so that's been done. I've also changed my seat, I've upgraded it because the other seat was giving me hell with my back and I'm not travelling that far on this with a dodgy seat so nice new seat in there which is really comfortable and today's job I need to repack the rear spring if you watch my video where I rebuilt the diff or replaced the diff I, had, I took a couple of leaves out um, she's a bit soft so I'm going to put them back in and uh, also try and work out my shocks because they were probably good. so body up um, Hopefully I can get to the rear spring. I've already undone it under there. Um, lift the body up and we'll try and repack this spring and then we'll uh, look at some shocks. Alright, so she's up nice and high. I've got safety stands under there and um, gives me access to the spring. It's a bit dark, but. Uh, Pull that apart, put the new leaves in it, and that's done. And then we can work on what we're going to do with shockies. The only downside to this is that it's going to be sitting a little bit higher in the back, but the ride is atrocious at the moment. People ask what it's like, and as far as comfort goes, and it's not like um, driving a car, it's more like I explain it's more like riding in a carriage because. Uh, I mean, that's a technology, and these are called buggy springs, and that's where it comes from. But yeah, it's more like riding in a carriage, and I'm trying to take that carriage feel away for the love of my back. But anyway, that's how she rolls. <laughs> So the spring packs apart, there's one that goes in between the top two, and there's one that goes right at the bottom. So we'll put them in, the hardest bit's going to be clamping them down and uh, putting the centre bolt back through it. But I'm stubborn, I have the patience, so we'll get it done. <laughs> So the correct way to do this is with a special tool. That basically, it's a spreader that sits in that groove, goes over the hump of the diff, and then sits in that groove. And you wind it out, you take the spring off, because the spring's under tension at the moment, and then you can repack it a lot easier. But I don't have that tool. Um, so I've done this before, but with less springs. So I've got a bolt, a longer bolt through the center, and I'm going to try and lever the spring back over here on both sides and then hopefully that'll work and then I'll be able to compress it once it's all wound up, compress it with the G-clamps and then put the original bolt back in it. Wish me luck. <laughs>
jar. Well, that's kind of the hard part done. She's all lined up. The bolt's in the middle. Now you just got to clamp it. Put the, uh, the right bolt in there. And I can lower it back down and that spring is done. <laughs> down it is sitting a bit higher which doesn't really bother me too much that's kind of standard height um, it'll give me a little bit more room for suspension travel and won't bottom out I like it so my old shocks aren't gonna work um, I've got some other ones over here some longer ones but I need to make some mounts and I've got heaps of old bits of mounts from over the years the stuff that I've pulled off cars that I didn't like and I've been trying to work with it and I'm like, I don't like it. So I'm a bit low on metal at the moment because of my power hammer that I made. Um, I might give it a miss tonight. I'll visit some friends and, um, and see if I can scrounge some metal to make some decent um, shock mounts. So yeah. So I've had this mad clunk in the back end. I think I just found it. driving me nuts. <laughs> 